there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Teacher Skin. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for coming back. We are here to look at some of the games that are for PS Plus in September 2017. One of them included is Child of Light, UB Arts, Ubisoft, uh, the indie darling made by the big conglomerate. There is a lot of uh, consternation about the way uh, Child of Light came out with paid transaction added materials to it, brought in through Uplay and through essentially. Uh, the fact that it was associated with a larger company. Whenever this has the feel and look of a much more independent, creative endeavor title that wouldn't have all this infrastructure applied into it. But that doesn't stop it from being a good game. That doesn't stop it from actually being a fun experience. And I've heard good shit about Child of Light. I've actually I've, I've received it twice before, I think, from the American PSN or American PS Plus at one point and the Hong Kong PS Plus. Like, a month ago, and I still haven't played it. So now, literally now that it's in Europe, I have no excuse not to play it. It's actually on the account that I actually normally use. Then we're going to take a look at Child of Let's see what we've got. It's, I mean, I've seen footage of this game and it just looks pretty. And I imagine it's actually pretty and sad. It's an Ori in the Blind Forest effect. But um, even look, look at that. That's a very sad looking face. The wee dotted eyes, the crescent moon down. It's a sad face on a coin. Come on. It's designed around sadness. Maybe Child of Light, but it's all have to be coming out of the dark. The game saves automatically at a certain point. Do not switch the power when this icon is displayed. I think, are we at that point now where we still need to tell people that? We've been saving games for a long ass time. Uh, uh, go to Uplay. We're, we're going to we're going to Uplay because I actually have a Uplay account. We're going to see what stuff they give you for nothing. And what stuff they want you to buy otherwise? Uh, 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 no. We're good. We'll be fine. We'll be survivable without it. And loadable content? Is there actually, was there actually expansions to Channel Light or this just purchasable items? I'm curious. I actually am curious if there was DLC for this game eventually. What? Huh. Not even showing any stuff. <laughs> well, they like the, the live peanut gallery here where the you play controls will screw us over. I was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if they'll screw us over. All right, so jump, fly, and dash all with one button. Good, and then interact with the other button and move. That's all we needed. No, all right, dash, dash, glow. Oh, that's right, this is co op. Hmm. Interesting. Did I, I forgot this was actually like um not not like unnecessary co-op, but it was uh it's kinda like the same way Never Alone was played, where it's actually co-op it's you can play it solo, but co-op actually like it means you can share an experience with somebody who doesn't play as much. The sad face! Oh sad face. Child, tuck yourself in bed and let me tell a story. Of Lemuria, a long lost kingdom. Long lost kingdom? For glory. Of where? In Austria was a crown land ruled by a duke. Aurora was his daughter. Child of a duchess mysterious, beloved by her father. He raised the girl alone. They were rarely apart. Till the duke pretty color hair though. It's pretty nice. Misplaced his heart. It's right, you know a life is always going to be tragic when it's made out of stained glass windows. Because immediately, <laughs> and it all fell apart. His new bride at his side. That night, Aurora went to sleep. And the palace burned around her. She caught a chill that spread. Oh shit, the fire did, there already was a fire. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, I was being facetious there. An actual fire did burn the palace down. Aurora's light gone out. Her father wept and pleaded, but there could be no doubt. For all intents and purposes, Aurora was dead. And yet, once upon a time, Aww. she in a strange land instead. The whole point is that she actually coma? So we got a coma kid? And then she wakes up in this dark realm. Wow, this is actually really pretty. Like, I've seen it in motion, but I was going like, is this cutscene and stuff? But it's actually like, the design is really, really... It reminds me of like a Pothion and stuff, like that kind of flowy paper cut out, but 
animated kind of um, design. Although, admittedly, that Apotheon was designed to actually be more like uh, kittens on the side of a pot. But that same kind of like everything's uh, shaped out of the. as an absence from the background that it's in. It's Child of Light. What are we doing first? I might, I'm going to be playing through our first couple of puzzles of this, but um, if games go for a long opening credits, it's, it kind of keeps me from actually enjoying it. <laughs> the, the girl and the firefly, I'm going like, no, the grave of the fireflies. That's what I'm thinking of. Father! Father! Oh. Okay, alright, obviously. Push box puzzle. Pushy, 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 pushy. I think the, hair, the hair moves. So it's actually like, it's just, obviously, this bit, it looks weird because the wind's constantly pushing at it. But it's actually, I like the way the tresses just move around. That tress FX, man. Tress FX. Destroying GPU since. Um, I don't know. <laughs> This is the fun part of platforming. Dark spirits fly, I know not where. Oh, shit. What's that? Spider bro? Okay, bye, Spider bro. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, that's kind of. It's one of those things to be aware in your dreams but not be able to get out of it. And. That's the reason why we should all actually try and learn how to lucid dream. Because the moment you can control it, oh, everything's... The, the world is your oyster. Literally, the universe is your oyster. You can actually literally put it into an oyster and eat it. Who spoke? Who spoke? I did. Shake the dew from your eyes. For mold grows. That's common sense. Firefly that speaks advice. My supper must have been too dense. With all that cheese... Woo! Who sounds good, but I'm lost. Ever heard of an Aurora? Why, sir, she is me. Both sir and she? A split aura? Perhaps you are some kind of flora? Teach your foolishness at once. I am Aurora, I am she. Hear me roar. Oh, what didn't you say so? Follow me. A lady waits. Hair long as a forest tree, with skin like moss and gleaming eye. A seer, she'll know the way out of this dream. Run! Hey, hey! We're coming in. What? Oh, to keep him little. Light the girl! Light her! Oh, cool! Oh, the giant in the background. That was interesting. Here's little charms, hands fast and tight. Don't you know? These are wishes. Okay. So the poetry, the, the rhyming is... Um, wishes taste delicious. Have a bite. Oh. Okay, what? Can I eat that? <laughs> that was implying on. Hey, here we go. Grab that one. Boom. Good. Come back here. I can get up there. Oh wait, now he can get them. There's one in there. Uh, okay. Eat all the light bright pieces. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. Is that where we're meant to go? We're gonna jump into the tree. Know where I'm gonna be going. Um, yes, we have run into the first thing. Oh, there, door. Doors are important. Doors are the way we get in and out of things. But I cannot fly there with these. Cut. Door is barred. Scepter round, a translucent sphere. 
Clear as glass, the answer. Sir Firefly, knife your rear! Uh. Oh. I can do that. Do it, and I'll show you. I'm setting fire to my ass! So. Oh. 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 Okay. So, make that match up that. Oh. Oh, do I have to wait for it to reload now? Uh. Go. Ah. This is a very annoying mechanic. Why did they have to actually slow reduce the amount that he can glow? I. There we go. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying controls. You're exactly right. People were saying it's the Ubisoft controls. Sir Firefly. We put a door here. Were you not meant to be going to find the lady? She lives in a tree. Who was she, I wonder? Remove the sword under. Alright. They obviously got plenty to say. I'm not gonna say all the lines because. I... What the fuck? Oh. Throw in the stone! Here's the new king! That actually happened recently. A small girl found a sword in a, in a lake. We were like, what? Like, is she. Is she. Is she the new king of England? Combat! Alright. We're into the turn based combat. Cast line. I cast first. I will act with a slash. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs! You didn't get the attack. Oh no, you did get the attack a lot slower. Yeah, I don't have that much health. Am I meant to be like a mage class or is it just child class? I suppose yeah, you level up pretty quick. By the time we're finished, she will be carrying that sword with like her pinky finger just like hanging off the end of it. Be able to swing it around like a goddamn lunatic. Maybe not in this particular video, but fairly soon. <laughs> oh, father, how much father? Oh, bother or a father or bother? Like, that's the problem whenever you do a rhyming scheme, whenever the words look too similar. Wait, I've come back here with the things! Ah! They're obviously thrown there to attack me. Ah, interesting. Why does he get an extra attack in? I like that. I like it a lot. You can use your glow to actually take down enemies a little bit quicker and actually like, ah, okay. That's an it. That's a good, I actually like that as a mechanic. They actually have a way to manually interrupt the actual ATV battle gauge. Yes, 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 I approve of this. Well done, Ubisoft. That actually makes turn-based combat a little bit more interactive and it's very well put together. Simple thing. Very simple thing. And that's why the glow, that's why the glow gauge is limited. I'm getting, I'm getting it now. Starlight, uh, so we get our first spell. So Light Ray, or Starlight. Okay, that's 4 MP, that's 6 MP. That's gonna to take too long to use. I think we'll be going with this. Obviously, makes more sense. We don't have any more points. Yeah, that's what's done, good. Oculi. Ah, right, yeah, no craft and stuff. Um, what we have, we've got one potion. We have had no confessions from anybody. Confessions of love we will assume to receive at some point. And we move on. Uh, same folks. Right to the old monster. Right, so we're going to play to the old monster to get our basic bearings. We've got the basic concept of the combat sorted. Hey, 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 come back here. So we got, ooh, is that fine? Ooh, okay. If I time that right, I can just walk in them. So this is very Persona style. 
Just like walking this back. Ah. Ah. Oh, bit. Ah, dummy. And just like. Oh, no, no. That's not good. He saw me. Hey, fuckhead. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. We just picked that. Actually. Damn! One hit kills as well already? I'm on board with this. I'm on board whenever you can actually balance it out. Uh, boxes. What's inside the boxes? Healing tonics! Great. Always useful. Alright, got him in the back. Let's strike him again. Oh, there's two of them this time. Okay. Blind him. Uh, it doesn't matter, he was gathering strength anyway. Ha <laughs> Oh shit, forgot about these. Those are free XP, aren't they? Every single time I'm doing that, I'm imagining. Another skill point available. Oh, what are we going to spend it on? I imagine it's going to be either that or that. Uh, what's the next thing? Is it's actually been strength? All right, so it make me stronger, and you'll give me magic upgrade. So we'll go the strength route. I want to be able to punch things really, really hard. Like I said, we're going to be making our buff team mage. Ah! All right. Well, I'm just gonna walk into that fight. Go ahead and gather that strength. I'm sure it'll do you well. Boom, down you go. So that one's not too hard. <laughs> Imagine that's actually a lot worse. Um. Oh, there we go. It's L2. I was better remember what button it was to actually make him glow. Wait, what? Any way out? Oh wait, 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 wait. Be good. There's another way. Hey, 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 hey! Back here, you floaty little bastard. Hi. They're floating off of me. Oh, box time. Pushing the box, pushing the box, pushing all over the box. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Not again. So, so far, this has actually been as traditional as you can god art. Oh, well. <laughs> it's telling me that I'm going to the monastery. We're going to meet the Queen of Light, I imagine. Um, we'll get this kind of, like, opening part done and dusted. I'm going to call it a day at that for... for oh, help me, Aurora. Help me! Oi, you. What the fuck are you doing? Be going anywhere. Arsehole, what are you doing? I don't know what that spider means, but I'm actually scaring the crap out of him with light. <laughs> oh, they're going to do something that's. Oh. Well, it looks like she's not having a good time. Uh-oh. 
Right. That's a problem. I didn't realize that they were actually bad people. Okay, so that's the reason why I need to use magic. I need to use it against a particular person. I get you now. I or like, get on you. At least I know that I actually do. Oh, they interrupted me as well. Son of a bitch. She dead? Yeah, she dead. Looks like the wishes. Oh, those actually heal me up as well. Happy days. I thought it was actually just uh, HP in the, or just the EXP that I was actually gathering from those, but it's actually a um, health bonus as well. So, having those wishes there, I imagine they're probably there because of me playing on casual compared to expert. If I was an expert, I probably don't give you as much options. Or I don't give you as much opportunity to survive. That's our way of doing challenge. I ain't gonna work. If I had a box to slide in there. Find all the boxes. Yep, there is a box. We're gonna use this box. Oh no. Let me put through the door first. Right, obviously. Jumping puzzle. In out of boxes. And he'll cover his head whenever we get up there. We're gonna flash pull him every once in a while. Oh. oh. Ah. Ah. Jump safely. There we go. Thumb ambush. Surprise strike. That's more like it. And we use the starlight on her immediately. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Forgot to pick up these. I'm assuming there's actually a lot of places I can just wander around in here that aren't related to the actual plot that I'm doing. Uh. Hmm. This part. Oh. Puzzle time. So we can, I'm assuming she can actually like temporarily fly if she actually uses this. There we go. Ding. Can you move boxes? Pushing the thing, pushing the thing, pushing it, moves us to the next bit thing. Oh, oh, yep. Oh, this one. Like, moving box puzzles. Uh, well, it, it is a pretty old school thing, so I'm not gonna hold it it, really. Are you serious? Ugh. Yep. Oh, 
Waiting, 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 waiting for the place to reset, just so we can push this right on. Hey. Oh, who's all? Clone two. So I'm hoping this is actually taking us towards the place that we need to be. Ah, didn't grab the bushes. Yeah, is that where we want to be? Up high? Yes! Hey, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Picking a fight every single time I can get opportunity, especially when I can surprise strike them. Uh, Starlight, obviously, going to be used on you. Wishes again. Keep on forgetting. Boom! Haha. <laughs> We're getting all these points now. We've got two of them. So what would we spend them on? We spend them on making it stronger. Uh. Oh, Ben's actually more for Ben himself, of course. Obviously. Uh, I'll use that. Oh, dodge! There we go. That'll be the next one we want, anyway. So we're going to like uh, for a hardy build. Got some plucked. Something happening. Any interesting things? Person that actually was making noises still here? No? Alright, fine. Uh, I thought it was gonna be somebody that was right behind the door. I'm imprisoned behind the glass. Oh, she actually is here. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Boom! And breaks out each color out of the glass. Nice! How do I change each? Oh, there we go. Yeah, and we bring you across there. Ding! She's almost free. Wait, we're missing a jam? In the Queen of the Night! The Queen of the Night! Alright, so we got our first boss combat. Which really does look like a Pothy online.
Nice, that was it. That's what I needed. Right, um... Can't be empty that, so I can't. Where am I? Him. Got me enough. Gotcha. He has no head, so is it like that the reason why I can't slow him down as much? Ah, uh, I should have just. If I know I'm not gonna get him. Boom, down you go. I got that one. Figured it out. Up to level 6. Boom. So the leveling's pretty damn fast in this. Magic Stardust. Okay, so that's a material spawn. So yeah, we're going to get a little bit of a lore dump on what's going on here, and this might be actually our last bit for this first play of Child of Light, but I am actually intrigued by this. this is, I, I like the mechanics of it, and I actually would be interested in playing more of this. Um, maybe not, maybe now even, or later yet, but not for this particular video. But uh, definitely actually say in the comments that this has been worthwhile. Child of Vision, take my hand! Creepy lady and shawl, who are you? Once the sun shone upon a land of sequined valleys and peaks of white. And at night ruined castles glowed with alabaster light. From the stars in the crescent moon, a queen of light ruled this rambling place. Each night she walked the palace alone, her luminosity dawn's own face. She Until passed by on the no trace, oh, like she passed underneath all the open gates and said hi to every guard. Dark resided in its place. A usurper, Umbra, hid from sight. She sent her daughters in her stead. The sun, the stars. Because she wanted to go to bed. Bed. They pilfered from the sky, extinguished them with the monsoon. Then Umbra's dark creatures conquered the land. Our lives soon snuffed out by a wave of her hand. Like all of them turned immediately to sand. Oh wait, no, that's Oz. Damn it, we can't make it look like that. Uh, madam. Madam, thank you for the story. But, uh, now I wish to wait. But dull my speech, you fell asleep. What I speak of is real, not fake. What around us lies the land of Lumeria? I'm afraid this is not a dream, bro. So, yeah, obviously, um, we've done quite, like, coma stories are actually like a standard thing. Kid falls asleep, ends up in another world. And one of my personal favorite TV shows was actually, the biz premise was this, where a guy was, a kid, fell off of a ladder or a skateboard, I can't remember which one, and then he was in a coma, and while he was in his coma, he created this whole universe and world that actually was going on at the same time, where his older brother was, like, the head of the world, or the organ, essentially, like, the, the, the Queen of Oz, essentially, like, it was, it was a Wizard of Oz story, just done with a boy and his, a boy and his brother, rather than actually, um, Dorothy and her dog, I suppose, in a way, and, uh, the whole point of the show was that he would actually try to, always try to find his brother, who was, like, seen as this great military leader, that was actually like um, the head and control of all situations, and then there was always evil people trying to capture him and get along the way. It was it was good. It was weird. It was cheesy. I want to know what that show was. I need to go and find that out because it'd be well worth going back and rewatching for nostalgia purposes alone. But yeah, this has been Channel Light. Channel Light's actually pretty fun. Um, I expected I expected turn based combat in a pretty world with, uh, and I had heard about the rhyming beforehand, but I, I didn't really it didn't phase me. I, I, I can imagine for some people it could get very very annoying. But um, I enjoy it. I enjoy a little bit of lyricism in my uh, video game speech. Uh, sometimes it feels unbelievably forced. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the hell out of this game. So yeah, Child Light, definitely a top choice for PS Plus. Uh, like I said, it's been available a couple of times previously. So some people might actually have their issues with it being released again as a PS Plus title. But me, I have no qualms whatsoever. That was really, really enjoyable. 
So, um, yeah, guys, we're going to call it a day on this particular playthrough of Child Light. But if you want to see more of Child Light being played here on the channel, then all you have to do is go to the comments and say, Shit! Give me more Child Light! No! And I'll probably sit down and do it, because that'll be the easiest way for me to know whether or not it's interesting to you guys to see it. So, yeah, um, Child Light, pretty enjoyable. I, I, let's do a long play of this at some point. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it, so I would like to do it. Uh, just give me a reason to do it, guy. Just, just give me a reason. One good reason. One good reason. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed watching this, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you want to, hit the subscribe button. Or hit the subscribe button. Or hit the subscribe button. Or whatever the fuck the subscribe button is on the particular strange uh, stream that you're watching. But if you don't do that and you don't want to do that, that's absolutely fine. People don't, Some people just don't do the subscribe and they come looking for the stuff all the time. So what you have to do instead is memorize that name. Pastiche of Skin. That's all you need to do. Pastiche of Skin. Type it in Google. Search for it. He's fine. I'll try to hide in any way, shape, or form. You'll always find me. Thank you very much for watching. Um, so, yes, there's one thing to still say. If you're watching this on YouTube, there'll be a button up in the corner there. Hit that one. I would like you to. This one is actually a recent playlist. Over in the far side will actually be the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video that's chosen for you based on the user analytics, the things you do on YouTube, all the things that you like and watch. It will pick a video that you're guaranteed to enjoy. That's the reason why it's there. That's the reason why that box exists in any way, shape, or form. It's just to entertain you. So make sure you cook it. You will enjoy it. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.